there are three major techniques used to dig the ball. Underhand, where arms are flat, straight and still, hands are loose, but together. Open hand, where hands are open, close together, and at chest level or higher. The hands are in a similar shape as to when hand setting, but the hands are facing forward and the elbows are in closer to the body. The open hand technique can only be used when digging a hard driven or fast moving ball that has a downward trajectory. Two handed overhead passing or digging is when the ball is contacted slightly above and in front of the forehead with the outside edge of both hands and little fingers. This technique is also called the tomahawk. One handed overhead passing is when you reach as high as possible above your head with one hand and slightly push or poke up at the ball with the area between the second and third knuckles on the index, middle, and ring fingers. This technique is also called the pokey. The critical key to all of the digging techniques is body balance and controlled arms. Any excessive movement or tightness of the hands or arms will at best result in a poorly controlled and very difficult dig to set. A great drill to learn how to be patient on defense, to learn to read the attacker's arm swing rather than guessing where the ball will go, is to have one partner stand on a bench on one side of the net and have the other partner set up to defend against the cross-court spike and line or cut shot on the other side of the net. The player on the bench attacking the ball must make sure to toss the ball up the height of a normal set and also make contact with the ball as high above their head as possible. The attacker on the bench acts if there is a blocker blocking the line spike, so either makes a cut shot, a cross court spike, or a line shot. This drill can be done with a setter and or a blocker to help further simulate game situations. Not only is this drill great practice for the defensive player, but it is also great practice for the attacker. If the attacker's arm swing is consistent, it will be very difficult for the defensive player to read where the ball is being hit to. If the attacker's arm swing significantly changes with the target location, the defensive player will be able to easily read and dig the majority of the attacks made. The keys to this drill are the defensive player reads and reacts to the arm swing of the attacker rather than guessing as to where the ball will go. The defensive player does everything possible to touch every ball that is attacked. And the attacker on the bench contacts the ball as high as possible above their head so that they give the defensive player the opportunity to read their arm swing. To practice the dig, approach, and attack of the ball, also called transition defense, start with a defensive player lined up to dig a cross-court spike. The other player stands on the same side of the net as the digger in the same spot as if they are blocking the line spike, but with the ball and facing the defender. The player at the net simulates an attacker but does not jump. They toss the ball high in the air, go through the entire arm swing motion, and attack the ball as high as possible above their head so that they give the defensive player the opportunity to read their arm swing. The player at the net, the attacker, will either spike the ball directly at the backcourt player or make a cut or line shot. This drill is about having the backcourt player control the dig move forward after the dig and aggressively approach and attack the ball. This drill is also very good training for the attacker to learn how to set a ball that is dug by the defensive player. The attacker, now turned setter, must make sure that their entire body and balance moves toward the exact location they want the set to go to. The digger will also learn that the more they control the dig, the better the set they will receive and the easier it is for them to attack the ball. <laughs>